So, it's the beginning of the school year and you've got this brand new grade book staring you in the face, Power Teacher Pro. We open it up and just know that there is going to be a steep learning curve, but there's some shortcuts and tips and tricks here for you. First of all, you change classes right up here. And it's always going to drop you in the assignments view, which is not especially useful because we want to see the score sheet right away. This is bonus tip one and a half. You start out in the assignments list, and when you switch classes, it will take you to another assignments list. But if you want to go from the default page straight to a score sheet, you click over here instead and you switch classes and switch the score sheet. Now, whenever you switch classes, you will also switch to the other classes score sheet. The score sheet defaults to a few rows, so I'm going to switch it over to 20, the maximum. Tip number one, save early and save often. I'm entering grades here and I need to save so that I'm not wasting my time when some power outage comes. Number two, let's look at the smart filling of comments. So you had kids away on a trip. This kid was here to turn in the assignment, but this kid was both missing and absent. And you want to leave a note that the wrestling trip is the reason they need to go to power school learning and look at some slides that they missed. I don't want to redo that five times for all five wrestlers. So I'm going to use my fill option over here. My fill option tells me that I can copy the scores, flags, and comments, or just the comments. I'm going to do the scores and the flags. I see that it applies to one person and I'm pressing OK. Now I'm not repeating those two tags and the comments over and over again. But please fill with caution. If you make changes to this fill and you want to apply it to the other items, just look at the numbers carefully. This is going to apply to two other scores. That means I would be wiping out the grade that I already entered for that middle student there, and that's no good. This is the only time you can undo things. If you press OK, and there's no way of undoing those lost scores. So fill with caution. Tip number four is smart text in the comments. So over here, I need to make a generic comment to everyone. Watch how when I use the fill feature here, I can do a comments only, and it picks up that I've used the first name of a student in my comment. Notice how it picks up that I use the first name of a student and a pronoun here. It's going to fill these in using smart text. That means it's going to add the same comment to the rest of the students and fill in their names along with what it guesses is the right pronoun. If it doesn't know the right pronoun, then you need to go through and you need to put it in for yourself. These are generated by PowerSchool. Also, also, there's room for 4,000 characters in this box. So why don't we preload it with some rubric style grading prompts? And we can enter some data that would be meaningful for your students right here and they can see it when they go to check their grades. Tip number five, keyboard shortcuts. For those of us who like keyboard shortcuts, there's still period for collected, slash for missing, and an asterisk for late. Just know that you have to leave the cell in order for the data to be registered. Or try this workflow. You can just mark everything as completed using the fill option, and then go through and mark the missing ones with a slash and change those for afterwards. Here I am at the beginning of the quarter, and I have tons of ungraded work. I need to quickly find an assignment and hand it in. I'm going to grab this filter right over here, and I'm going to pull out just a few assignments that I know that I need. Maybe the assignment happened this week, and I need to grade it. Maybe it was last week, and I need to enter that grade. I can apply those filters. Additionally, I can clear those and use a different filter. More often than not, I just need a specific category, so I'm going to open up the category, choose project, and then apply that, and I have my two project assignments to enter. Another super fast way to find a specific assignment is to maximize the number of columns per page and then use Command F. This can be found on the Edit menu as well as the keyboard shortcut Command F for Find. If I know the word test is in the title of the assignment, I can Command F and type test, and here I have the word test right here. Maybe it's an essay I'm looking for. It pulls up the word essay right there, 
and I can grab that assignment and enter those grades quickly. Now we're on to tip number eight. You know, by the end of the year, you've probably created 200 assignments by going to the Create button, but you don't want to keep changing the settings over and over again. So let's change some defaults. I want to go down here into the Categories area, and let me run a couple scenarios by you. Let's say all your classwork assignments are always going to be worth two points. So I come here to the defaults, I make all my classwork assignments two points every time I create a new classwork assignment. It doesn't change this already in the gradebook, it just makes this the default the next time you select that. So I come down here and I do collected only and I press save. Here's another scenario. Let's say you have projects and your projects are always going to be graded on a 24 point rubric and you wanted to assign something from a letter grade that goes on the rubric. I'll show you how that plays out later in the score sheet. Clicking save. And two more scenarios. Let's say I take quizzes and my quizzes are always going to be 12 points every time I create a new quiz and I want those to be a percentage. So I can just type in a percentage on their quiz and it makes it a percentage out of 12 points every time I create a new quiz. Finally, let's say for example a teacher wants to make sure they have their tests always worth 50 points with an option of having two extra credit points along the way. So every time I create a new test in every class it will be 50 plus two points. Let's see how this is going to pay off. I go to create a new assignment and let's just say that it's going to apply to several classes in this same semester and I'm going to name my assignment and all I have to do now is pick the category and it defaults to a letter grade that's 24 points that happens to match my project rubric. I save and close and even better when I go to score the assignment it only brings up letter grades in the score inspector that will save me time. I'm not entering numbers and trying to do other calculations. Similarly, if I create an assignment that is quiz, it will default to 12 points and I'll be entering percentages. And if I create a classwork assignment, it will be collected only and it will just be check marks or missings that I would enter in the gradebook collected and filled down. We're already on tip number nine, where does the time go? I want to make some detailed comments about a student. And so when I bring up the score inspector, I switch over to this comment mode over here. Now we're lucky that our district has this comment bank. I can take these comments when my cursor is in the box and I can start adding with the plus sign the comments that I like. The ones that I use the most often, I can star those and bring them to the top of the list. And use this to filter out some of the key words and I can find the comments that I need. One final feature. Every once in a while you have a pile of papers and they're put in alphabetical order by first name. The default in the settings under the display settings is to put your students in order of last name comma first name. So when you display your students and you happen to have a pile of papers that goes in order of their first name you can put their first name first in alphabetical order and then we'll rearrange your students and make it easier for you to enter those particular assignments. So save time in your gradebook by having your papers turned in in alphabetical order or have a student aide sort your papers out in alphabetical order and speed up your grading that way. I hope this has been a help. Thanks for watching.